Hey church, I hope you're really well. I hope you are having a great day, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, the evening, or wherever you are tuning into this. It is so great to have you with us at our Audacious Devotionals. Um, my name is Sarah and I'm part of the Chester team. Um, I head up all our creative and missions over here. And it is so good to see you and a big shout out to all our other campus and locations. Um, it is wonderful to see you and to all our other friends from around the world and the UK, welcome. Um, I've got the privilege today of being able to share one of my favourite verses, um, one of the most memorable verses and one that really impacts me. Um, and I'm super excited to take a little bit of time now just to unpack it, to see what it might, God might be saying to us um, and to share some thoughts that um, I've got on it. So um, we're going to dive into Romans, which is just an unbelievable letter um, that is written by Paul to the Roman church. And um I just find this book amazing. It is got so much wisdom in it. It's got so much clear, practical, like application for us. Uh, it's totally challenging, and it really does um, take us a little bit of time sometimes to unpack what some of the verses are saying. But overall, it is just an incredible, incredible book. Um, and I love how in uh, Romans the way that Paul writes. He really wants to connect in with uh, the, the church in Rome. And um, he does this uh, in just by being slightly more personable. And um, he does it so that what he's saying is being received better um, and then making it a little bit more accessible. And I know for us today, I think that's totally true, that the way the letter is written is more accessible um, and has some really like hard hitting, powerful moments. Um, and so I love this book, this letter. And I want to focus in today um, on one of the most famous chapters, which uh, hopefully you'll all agree with me. Romans 8 is incredible. There is so much in it. And I could be here for hours and days. I think we could spend a lot of time focusing in. But today I just want to look at one verse. Um, and that is Romans 8, 11. Now, this verse is amazing. And I love it. And it says this. I'm going to read it to you. It says, the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. And just as God raised Christ, Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal body, bodies by his same spirit living within you. Wow. I'm going to read that again for us because it's so amazing. The spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. So the power and the spirit of God that raised Jesus back to life from being fully dead lives in me and in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, just as he did that, he will give life to our bodies as mortals by that same spirit living within us. Now, I don't know about you, but instinctively that, that first, when I read it was like, what? You're telling me that that power, the power of Christ's resurrection lives in me like that blew my mind to, to kind of understand that and think that that is something that is real and is true in my everyday in my being right now and um it kind of makes me feel a little bit invincible like suddenly I could be this superhero you know I, I can do anything because I've got this power living within me I, I can step out and and I can step out for healing for people I can believe for that because of that power I can step out and share the gospel because that power lives in me you know and it's like a bring it on moment I I can do all these things because of this power and and that is so true and so real and it's so powerful and impactful on our relationship with Christ. And I get this incredible feeling while I'm reading and delving into this, this chapter and in particularly this verse. And then I don't know about you church, but I suddenly get this realization of when my reality of life kind of kicks in and I get this kind of sneaky fear creeping in of like, well, yeah, you could all do all those things, but it could not be true and you could fail. And I suddenly go from this moment of absolute empowerment through Christ to having this moment of, but what if I get it wrong? What if I fail? You know? And I think in our everyday lives, we have this battle between faith and fear. And I know we talk about it a lot. Um, I know that Pastor Glynn talks about it a lot and rightly so. 
because we live in a supernatural state as Christians, as those who love Jesus. And if you don't, he would love to know you. And we live in this world of understanding that power and, and knowing that we have that power living within us. But we also live in a world that has a different view and a different understanding of how someone should live their life. And so that's a really hard thing to get your head around when internally and spiritually you're going, this power is incredible. I have resurrection power living within me. But everything around you says, but that's not true and that's not how these things work and that's not how these things happen. And you could fail and you could get it wrong. And you know, we get this kind of bombardment, don't we? But I want to encourage us today, church. I want to really help us today to realize, although we may fear, although... Um, there might be moments where you doubt or you ask questions and you wonder, you know, is this whole thing real? Is that true that I can have that power living within me? Is that even fact? But I want to encourage you today, church, that although we may worry or fear, we can equip ourselves. We can prepare ourselves for, for almost the battle between faith and fear. We can set ourselves up to be able to live in the understanding of this verse in Romans 8. We can live in the understanding of knowing that resurrection power in our everyday lives. And um, it might seem like a hard thing. And the reality is we do live in a battle, but it's a battle that Christ has already won for us. And, and we can really live in that. So I want us to think a little bit about the armor of God um, as we find it. We find it in Ephesians uh, 6, 10 to 18. You know, put on the armor of God. If you haven't read that verse, go read it now because it's amazing and it will totally uh, help you. And we can put on the armor of God. We can equip our every part of ourselves spiritually with the knowledge and power of Christ. And as we do that, that helps us to shift our mindset. We can shift our mindset into believing and being in that spiritual walk every day. But it is about equipping ourselves. And we need to make sure that we are equipping ourselves. And that does mean um, reading the, the word, getting into the word, letting it soak in in your everyday. It does mean prayer, having that conversation with God. It means being in community with others and oh my goodness isn't it amazing to be doing church in person praise god you know it is about equipping ourselves for these things to be able to when those moments of worry or doubt come to stand firm in knowing what your faith is and and how you live out your faith you know we have to trust in god that what he says is true and and we know that by the way he outpours his love for us the way he moves in our everyday lives you know and um and when we realize that and we can start living in this moment of just faith imagine the impact it's going to have church when we live out having the power of the resurrection in us that as we feel invincible knowing this as we step out i don't know i get this vision of like stepping out as a superhero and being like i've got this power living in within me i can do all these things through christ who strengthens me imagine if we all did that today church the impact it would have on friends families communities the world the uk you know as we truly accept that and live in that and battle that we win ground for jesus and we win hearts and souls for jesus who desperately need to know him so I just really want to encourage us today, church, that the power of Christ lives in you, in you, regardless of who you are, regardless of your background, your past or your present. It lives in you if you've accepted Christ and you can live and work in that power every day. Equip yourself for the battle. Put on the armor of God. Stake your ground in the word. Make sure you're rooted in church community. And when we do that, Oh, the most incredible things will happen. So church, go for it. Step out and believe we have faith over fear. Church, I love you so much. Um, I cannot wait to see you in person in Chester if you're there. All my wider church family, I love you so much and I'll see you soon. And to everybody else, all our friends and family out there, I hope you're doing really well. Remember to book your tickets for Sundays and we'll see you soon. God bless you. Bye.